you guys welcome back to my channel today we are gonna do a tour of our newly renovated not really renovated we didn't knock down any walls or anything but our newly made over travel trailer we have a 1995 Aljo travel trailer and we bought it it was straight 90s on the inside I will insert some before pictures like as we were going through the tour kind of um, do a little before and after but I'm gonna give you guys a full tour today of the new trailer that we are gonna be using for camping trips and we actually just had our mattress delivered for the master bedroom the only bedroom in our trailer and it is from all's well home so thank you all's well for sending us this mattress we really appreciate it it's actually the same um, brand of mattress exact same mattress that all three of our kids have on their beds as well and they are so so nice it's like a, um, a hybrid mattress so it does have coils and memory foam but it comes rolled up in a box like vacuum sealed so we're gonna show you guys how we put it on the bed before we get into the tour but yeah let's go ahead and get on in to the trailer So now we officially have our mattress in here in the trailer. It is ready to go. So we are gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of the whole thing now. Hello you guys, welcome to my crib. Just kidding, welcome to our trailer. This is our 1995 Aljo travel trailer. The door is banging up <laughs> against the wall. Um, it is a 25 foot, 26 foot trailer and it has a bathroom, a bedroom, and then a living area. So why don't you come on in and I will show you guys everything that we did. I'm actually gonna roll some before footage right now so you guys can see what this looked like about two weeks ago. It's an insane transformation and I'm so happy with it. And over here, we have the table and the benches and then up above here, there's a stereo and storage and I've got a big screen, flat screen, I guess I would call it. <laughs> it's a nice LG TV um, and then the couch. So this folds down into a bed as well. And then here is the kitchen area. So there's the refrigerator, microwave, stove, oven, sink, and all the storage. There's storage up above here. This is the master bedroom back here. There's only one bedroom, so I guess it's not really a master. It's just the bedroom, but I'm going to probably get a new mattress for in here just because that kind of grosses me out and a little closet some storage all up above here and I'm gonna replace this curtain um, it like goes across to shut off the mat the bedroom so I'm gonna replace that with something else I'm not sure and then back here is the bathroom so just uh, this has a closet in it um, there's some storage in here and the toilet, which we need to get a new toilet seat, I think, because this doesn't have a lid on it, and I don't like that. So just get a new like seat for it. And then the sink, and there's even a little bathtub. Okay, so this is the main living area. So we have the kitchen, <laughs> the dining room. This door goes to the bathroom, and then right behind you is a futon couch and a little tv up here so this is going to be uh, we have two boys if you are new to our channel we have two boys that are seven and eight and this folds down into a bed i'll just show you guys here quickly just like so so they will be able to share this <laughs> and then over here i'm not going to show you guys this because it 
it takes a little bit of a process, but this folds down into a bed as well. The table uh, slides flat here, and then all of these cushions turn, you know, they lay flat and turn into a bed. So what did we do in this area? Obviously it looks totally different. So first things first, we painted all of the walls white. We used Bare Frost. It's a paint and primer in one. And we wiped everything down with liquid sandpaper before. I even wiped down the walls um, in some spots that seemed a little like greasy because it's like a degreaser too. Um, so we did that. And then the upper cabinets are the same color, uh, Bare Frost. And then the hardware here is from Amazon. And I do have those linked in my Amazon shop for you guys. And then we took down all of the ugly, like carpeted, green carpeted valances. And we put up these DIY curtains. So it's just a curtain rod, some ring clips, which you guys can find these in the same aisle in Walmart. And then these are just flower sack towels that come in a five pack, which you guys can get those at Walmart as well in the kitchen section. And then we just have some command hooks up here that hold the uh, curtain rod on. So it's not anything that's like permanent or drilled into the wall. Super easy. And then you can change these out like anytime you want to, if you want like a different fabric or whatever. So we did that on all the windows in here. Um, and then for this bench area, um, the original fabric is still under these. I just bought these cushion covers off of Amazon. I have those linked for you. They have all different colors. And then there was like a green, carpeted fabric trim here as well. We took those off. My husband um, cut these wood pieces. We stained them and then some trim pieces just hide some like ugly like gaps that were on there and stuff like that. So um, did some wood stain and this is I think the brand was Verithane and we did the color Kona for that. That's like our favorite stain color that we use like in our house and everything. It's just our favorite. So then as for this table, it was white. Um, this was like a a gold trim piece along the edges here and this is actually just contact paper that I got off of Amazon and applied to look like wood. I think it matches pretty well to the stain that we did. Not exact but it looks so much better than it did. We tried to do all of this like as much on a budget and as cheap as we possibly could because it's just for camping. We're not like living in it and we honestly weren't even going to do any updates to this trailer and then <laughs> We started to like paint the walls and then it just turned into this whole farmhouse camper that we have now. Okay, so then for this wall, it looks like shiplap. All I did on this wall was white paint, obviously. And then I used a yardstick, a level, and a Sharpie. And we have Sharpie shiplap. This is just a wreath that I had up in the attic at our house um, that was hanging in our old house. And actually all of the inspiration for this trailer came from our old house. If you guys have been around for a while, we had an old house that was built in the 30s and it was a total fixer upper. We fixed it up and turned it into like the total farmhouse dream and it was beautiful. We loved it. Um, and so that's where all the inspiration in here really came from. The colors, the, the, the shiplap, the subway tile, all those things that you're going to see throughout here. All right. So then this door, this was just like a brown trim. We took that off, spray painted it black and spray painted all the hardware for the door as well. Painted the door white and then installed this new doorknob, which matches the hardware. This is also just from Amazon and then shiplap over here as well. And then the fridge, I had originally painted this gray, did not like it. So I painted it black and it's actually a chalkboard paint. So the kids will be able to draw on here and stuff like that. I'm going to get like a little command hook um, basket thing to sit here with chalk in it for them. And we haven't decorated in here except I hung this random wreath up, but I'm not going to do too much decorating might hang some like hooks and stuff, but it's just going to be for like weekend camping trips. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of decor in here because that's just more work whenever you're packing up to go somewhere. Um, so then onto the kitchen, the stove and the range hood is what that's called, right? Yeah. Um, those are staying the same. We could have painted them, but you know, they're functional and they're fine and it doesn't bother us. So we are leaving those, but the backsplash here, this is peel and stick tile from Amazon. It's a Tic Tac Tiles brand and it was very easy to work with. And I absolutely love how this turned out. It just like changed the whole look in here and made it really just like tie like the gray together with the lower cabinets and stuff like that. So these lower cabinets, the color is by Bear, the color is shark fin, and that's all the gray that you see in the trailer is all shark fin and all the white is frost if you are wondering about the colors. So then same hardware down here, the black hardware 
from Amazon and then all of the hinges on all the cabinets Donnie spray painted those black and he also spray painted the screws so we were able to reuse the screws we didn't have to go buy anything new like I said we were trying to totally like do this on a budget not spend a whole bunch of money I think we spent around $500 for this whole renovation between four and five hundred dollars is what I, I didn't really track it but adding things up in my head on the way over here that is what I think the roundabout cost of all of this was not including the cost of the trailer obviously which we did get a smoking deal on it um so then uh what else oh contact paper on the counters here is the same contact paper as this table and one thing we still need to do is just put like a bead of caulking around the sink here so no water gets up under the contact paper, but it is cleanable, it's wipeable. Um, a lot of people do this like on their actual kitchen counters in their house. I've seen a lot of people do like marble and I watched a ton of videos <laughs> before applying this and I think it came out great, totally changed the look of everything. And um, I thought about replacing the faucet, but it's really not that big of a deal. It works fine. So we're just going to leave that. Um, and then up here we have these, we just use plywood and use that Kona stain to put in here just for something. Um, you know, we had <laughs> plywood laying around in the garage. So we decided to use that instead of buying something else, but there was this green carpet up here. So we decided to switch it out for something because it was hideous. So plywood and stain super easy fix for that and then Donnie just like what you screwed it in on the back from behind mm -hmm. so this wall here had a massive tv on it the previous owner was living in this camper so um he had a huge tv in here and then he had this tv in the bedroom which we didn't feel like we needed a huge tv for camping trips so we took that down actually put it into our bedroom in our house because we didn't have a tv in there and then we moved this one from the bedroom out to here um, who knows how much we'll actually use it while we're camping. We'll see, but we decided to put that up there. And then in our makeover videos, I had a lot of people asking why we didn't do anything to this wall. And we just didn't feel like we needed to. Um, this is like plywood that's covered in this felt material. I think it kind of helps with like the sound with the TV. And then, um, this matches everything. I guess we could have taken this off and spray painted it black. Maybe we will, we will, who knows, but, um, everything kind of matches and looks fine so we decided to just leave it because there's so many things in here that we could have done but we decided not to um, just because it's functional and it works fine and we just kind of did what we wanted to do is that her no i did want to mention the floor so the previous owner had replaced like all of the flooring like underneath this flooring the subfloor and um, he had replaced all of that because in these older trailers or just trailers in general it's really common for like there to be soft spots and stuff in the floors after a while from like moisture and whatnot so he had done that already so that was super awesome we didn't have to do that and he installed this flooring which he actually worked at an rv dealership and so he used flooring from the 2019 uh grand design trailers and he used that in here so we have 2019 floors and 1995 trailer so that's awesome and then for the trim pieces on the bottom donnie just bought unfinished trim and we stained it that same kona color so it would tie in with everything we originally had put down white trim didn't like it so we went ahead and went with the stained wood look instead so moving on into the bathroom, I'm going to take the camera from Donnie because there's not enough room for both of us in here and I will show you what we have going on in here. So I did the same contact paper in here. We just got a new toilet seat. If you guys watched all of our like actual makeover videos, there was no toilet seat or toilet lid on here. We got a new one. Um, and so yeah, that is on there now. Um, but I did the same contact paper on the vanity. I just need to seal around it, but, uh, we actually just finished up the trailer a couple days ago and that is just like one last little random thing that we need to do before we go on an actual camping trip. But the bottom cabinets are shark fin by bear. And then I did the shiplap on, oh, hello. <laughs> I did the shiplap on this wall as well with the Sharpie and then these shelves are extra wood that we had from the frame around the benches stained and then these are just little brackets that we got at the hardware store um, they were actually gold and I spray painted them black so that way they would go with the whole color scheme and then over here we have a closet which actually has quite a bit of space in it and lots of shelving back here for like towels and storage and whatever. Um, we did not paint the inside of these cabinets. 
or the inside here just because like I mentioned in the videos where we were actually like doing the makeover your cabinets are closed like 99.9% .9 of the time so if you want to take the extra step and do the extra work go for it but we just didn't feel like we needed to we did do white trim in here because um the walls are white down here and it just like it didn't look bad in here we just didn't like the white trim out in this area so anyways then I have the same hardware in here I just have like a little command hook hung here for a hand towel this shower curtain is from Amazon and then the rod and the clips or the rings I mean are from uh, Walmart and then the inside of the shower is not it, I thought it was complete but we decided we're gonna do something else so I'm not gonna show that to you guys in this video so that is the bathroom it's actually a pretty good size bathroom for a trailer moving on to the bedroom there was a curtain that hung here when we bought this trailer and it went there was like a piece that went across here for it to slide on and we thought about putting up something here for a door then we decided we liked how open it was and how it like kept it looking open um, we totally could put up like a barn door or like a curtain or something but um, for now we're just gonna leave it how it is because we just like how it is I think I'm gonna get some sort of decor piece like a picture or something that says like explore or travel or something on there um, so that will be cute and then the cabinet doors in here we did all of them gray that shark fin color we did the same stained wood with that Kona color in between where there was the like carpet and then as you guys saw we got a new mattress it is like these are so comfortable our kids like I said all three of our kids have the same mattress in our house and we just love them so that is still expanding and coming to full form and then I did the shiplap on this wall as well so we have a good sized bedroom in here and then like I was telling you guys the boys have this bed and then our daughter she has this bed so it's gonna be perfect for our family camping trips we're gonna make so many memories in here I'm so excited it's a very cold day so I stopped and got myself a vanilla chai but that's why you see this sitting here so I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of our new to us travel trailer we had so much fun doing this makeover and filming all of it for you guys. I have all of those videos in a playlist if you missed out on them. If this happens to be your first video that you were catching of ours, then we have tons of fun RV style videos. We actually traveled all last summer to 31 states. We went 13,000 miles with our three kids and our two animals in another trailer um, that my father-in-law now lives in. And we have all of those videos in a playlist as well so if you go to my channel and you click on playlist you can find all those videos and if you're new here I would love to have you subscribe um, and join the Casper crew Casper family we post all sorts of fun stuff vlogs and cleaning and organizing and camping and DIYs and all sorts of stuff so thank you guys again I hope you enjoyed checking out our trailer and I will see you guys in my next video bye